Hey guys, this is Danny, Daniel FX. I am a 3D VFX freelance artist working with music artists and brands. And I asked you on Instagram if you guys are interested to see uh, behind the scenes of my VFX and share sorry about. And some of you responded. That's great. That's beautiful. Today we're gonna break down videos that you choose. I'm gonna tell you short sorry about how it happened. In the beginning, as always, I need to sorry about my English. I don't practice it a lot, but gotta do it more. Okay, Alice for sure. If 2020 was a creature. That day we were just walking around, nothing foreshadowed, bad weather, but as I'm living in St. Petersburg, you never know what's gonna happen above your head in the next 5-15 minutes, whatever. And just in one moment, city vibe completely turned it over. There was a St. Petersburg football team celebration uh, because they won something. I, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain the atmosphere that was at that moment, but you, you should see it by yourself. And with that, I just made quick Photoshop 3D artwork when I put like God's alley hand uh, touching the city from above. I'm grateful we captured this moment. I just started recording random video footages in case I would make something with it because sometimes I do my VFX like that. I record uh, the video footage, then I go back in a few months and see if I can do something with it or not. I knew I will do something with it. I want to make like representation of 2020. What if 2020 was a creature? How could it look like? First, in my information field, everyone around was using this. And I was thinking great emoji to represent 2020. Uh, to make a reference to 2020, to react on anything that's happened last year. So, but I was like, okay, I have the head, but I need to sculpt the body. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make him completely sculpt a giant stone creature with hands and legs, like just like humanoid. And I started sculpting it. It was pretty fun. I don't know how long it took me, but I guess a uh, few weeks from time to time, like I'm getting back from work and uh, doing this in my free time. The epic thing about that is everyone around was shooting clouds because it was so epic. You can't even just stay and watch. And uh, while everyone was recording that, me too, but also was recording everyone who recording the clouds. They like recording the giant creature when I put it on there. That was cool. Okay, Christ for Graham. The one with the Thomas. Let's get it, man. One cold spring morning, we went to Viberg and made a headway on Tverdish Island uh, to reach some abandoned powder warehouse and that was our main goal but in the process i was like i need to make something with it i need to make some vfx because it looks so cool it looks as creepy as any other abandoned place so i just wanted to uh, put a little bit of spice on the top of it to enlarge creepiness and i did this is the moment when thomas the train appears 
I mean, this is the moment. So yeah, I basically downloaded the ready model without rig um, with textures and just vandalize it to the level. You don't want to see this in your life. In any case, ever. the edit stage I realized the camera tracking is kind of fucked up because of the fast movement of my operator uh, but at the end of the day I figured out how to fix it and uh, we got pretty solid video and this camera shaking just you know gave it more natural look because you're so scared you don't give a shit about stabilization and yes rotoscoping trees was a pain in the ass uh, if you want to know more about uh, this trip to abandoned place you can see it right here yeah you can see it right here because uh, I made a whole vlog about it everything you want to know is right here here. Kira Baumgartel, when you a social as fuck. What's up, Kira? <laughs> I don't even remember which year that was. Uh, I suggest this is 2016. The beginning of my Instagram video making career, whatever. I remember at that time I didn't even have a green screen, uh, so I shot this video on the top of the roof with a clear sky background, which technically can be considered as a blue screen, which is a kind of a green screen, if you know what I mean. I was using Terra again, as I remember, maybe not, like doesn't matter, now it's like dozens of world generators, you can choose uh, whatever you want, whatever you uh, feel comfortable to work with. It was just randomly uh, generated uh, islands, rocky islands. Um, I think I got uh, the idea of this video as soon as I generated uh, the environment, yes. And actually, this is my first work when I put myself into a 3D environment. Not a big story behind that because I just don't remember what I was doing. The only thing I remember, I was figuring out how After Effects works, um, how to put yourself in the 3D environment, how to track uh, the environment, like roughly, and I was just making short videos for fun. Uh, I'm still doing it, but a little bit more serious, I guess. Yes. Okay, the next one. Norman Cleo, the May 1st one, Marshmallow and Halsey. All right. Okay, this is the most requested since it happened. Uh, a lot of people DM'd me about, oh, what's up, you really work with Marshmallow? How is this even real? You're like 20k creator, what's up with that? Yes, it's true, uh, made a couple of videos for him, uh, for his track with Halsey, uh, Be Kind. So, okay, he DM'd me back in April, he wanted me to make a few videos for his upcoming track with Halsey. And, not gonna lie, I was surprised. Uh, Okay, I was shocked. Okay, I was like, what the fuck is this even real? We started exchanging ideas, like what we're gonna do. I got this idea with branded uh, Marshmallow Submarine, which launches uh, flowers instead of missiles. On the nose of it is like a big subwoofer that reacts to the music and it's kind of dream. I want this so bad in real life, but <laughs> I would, you know, cross the ocean with this. Fuck. Sadly, submarines don't fly, but I hope in the near future we can see this. And the whole project was really challenging to me because first, you don't want to fuck up. It's a big responsibility. It was really important to me and I think it's important for everyone who's working with a big artist. Second of all, 
I was looking for a place to shoot a video really hard because mid-April it's leafless trees and it looks kind of dead but like the song itself it's so blooming and kind and it's about you know something super green and uh, I just fell in love at the moment where I heard it first time I was like damn I should make something cool with it at that time I had not the best equipment like uh, but this also proves that no matter if you have 400 bucks camera or 10,000 bucks camera if you have 400 bucks camera you still have a solid chance to make a collaboration with a big artist because the main thing is this not this i hope you like this video i like this format from time to time share with you my experience uh, how some of the stuff was made and etc uh, etc et so let's keep let's keep it going see you in the next one or i don't know when we'll probably get in touch soon <laughs>